in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a lush forest, lived a young girl named Elara. Elara was known throughout the village for her kindness, wisdom, and her tendency to listen more than she spoke. She had a heart that cared deeply for the people around her, always offering a shoulder to lean on and an ear to listen. One day, a deep sadness enveloped the village. The village well, which had been their main source of water for generations, had dried up overnight. The once cheerful faces of the villagers turned gloomy, for without water, their crops would wither, and their livestock would suffer. Panic spread like wildfire, and the villagers gathered in the village square to discuss what they should do. Amidst the concerned crowd, Elara stood calmly, her thoughtful gaze fixed on the ground. After a moment, she stepped forward and said, I believe there is a solution. But we must work together to find it. Let's gather in the village hall tonight and share our ideas. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the villagers gathered in the dimly lit village hall, their faces reflecting uncertainty. Elara took the center stage and began. In times of uncertainty, remember the proverb, a problem shared is a problem halved. Each of us carries a piece of the puzzle, a fragment of knowledge that when combined, can lead us to a solution. One by one, villagers began to share their thoughts. The blacksmith talked about the unique rock formations he had seen during his travels that might indicate an underground water source. The herbalist spoke of certain plants that were known to thrive in damp conditions. The old fisherman remembered tales of a hidden spring deep within the forest each contribution brought a glimmer of hope, dispelling the darkness that had settled over the village. Elara listened intently, weaving the ideas together like threads of a tapestry. She encouraged the villagers to collaborate, combining their insights into a plan that could potentially bring water back to the village. The plan involved using the blacksmith's knowledge to locate underground water cultivating damp loving plants to aid in water absorption, and venturing into the forest to search for the elusive spring. The next few weeks were a flurry of activity. The villagers worked side by side, digging, planting, and exploring. They faced challenges and setbacks. But they didn't waver. Alara's unwavering determination and the spirit of unity fueled their efforts. One day, as the villagers were deep within the forest, their ears caught a faint, melodious sound. Following the sound, they stumbled upon a hidden grove, where a crystal clear spring bubbled forth from the ground. Their hearts filled with gratitude and joy. The whispers of the forest had led them to their salvation. The news spread quickly through the village, and a celebration was organized to mark the return of water. The villagers danced, laughed, and sang around the spring, their faces radiant with happiness. In the midst of the celebration, Elara stepped forward and addressed the villagers. Our journey taught us that by sharing our knowledge, our concerns, and our dreams, we can overcome the greatest challenges. When each of us contributes a part of ourselves, the burden becomes lighter and the solutions become clearer. Remember, a problem shared is truly a problem halved. And so, the village flourished once again. Stronger than before, Alara's wisdom and the unity of the villagers became a legend that traveled beyond their hills. The whispering grove stood not only as a source of water but also as a reminder that in times of hardship, Coming together and sharing the weight of our troubles can lead us to the solutions we seek.